Things where I've seen it happen in, in World Cups. You know, I remember Frank Lampard for England. The ball went about two yards over the line and, and the goal wasn't given. And, you know, it's a hard job that, that officials have. Very, very difficult job, especially now as the game's getting faster and faster. Uh, that's why, you know, we get we have uh, goal line technology in, in some leagues to to prevent that. And I'm a big, big proponent of any VRs, you know, making making decisions because at the end of the day, you you work so hard uh, as a coach and players work so hard. If it's, if it's a goal, it's a goal. If it's not a goal, it's not a goal. And I think the the referees, I think it's impossible for the human eye. Uh, to watch 22 players a ball, and you know, I think it's impossible. So I think, you know, as I said, I'm a I'm a big proponent of uh, of VARs to help the officials. I said to the players at half time, I said, look, the, you can a team with weak mentality will feel sorry for themselves and let it affect them. I said, a team with uh, a strong mentality will win despite that decision. And, and I said, look, make sure you go out and win, and, and then it doesn't feel anywhere near as bad. And, and the fa the players were fantastic with the. This, this group's got an unbelievable character, as I've said all season. We, we recruited on character, and you're seeing the amount of goals and, and the work rate that they put in. Yeah, and, sorry, the amount of goals you scored late in games and the work rate they put in. That's that's what we recruited for. Yeah, uh, you know, I thought 1 0. I thought they started 10 minutes. I thought they, they did quite well. Um, and I thought they were probably the better team for the, the opening 10 minutes. They had the win behind them and they, they got a little bit of momentum in it, but I think when we adjusted a few things tactically and stopped them being able to switch the ball. Uh, then I thought we, we controlled the game for, from then. And on another night, we could have had three or four goals. I think their goalkeeper was probably the MVP of the game, in, in my opinion. So he had an unbelievable game. So really, really, really pleasing that we're scoring this, that we're creating this many chances. And, you know, as you can see on, on other days, we can score on four and five goals. We're not interested in possession. Uh, we're not interested in, you know, it's especially possession in our own half. We want to possess the ball in the opposition half because you need to be there to score. Uh, and the only passes and the only possession that we're, we're interested in is, is in the opposition half. Um, we allow other teams to have possession in their own half and then that gives us more space to attack them. So we, we uh, the character, the work rate, um, their ability to, to play without the ball is, is, is what's kind of separating us from, from others at the moment and what, what's getting as many goals and it's exciting to watch when you see a team work like that, press like that, get as many shots on goal as that, it's uh, it's really fun to watch this team at the moment. I thought Eddie was fantastic, you know, we played a right back at centre forward because Tucker's out with a concussion, he should be back next week against Rochester and to see Stephen back and, and also Carl Hayworth returning to the bench, seeing Bruno get another 65 minutes, you know, what the guys have achieved this season has been with a couple of big time players for us. Um, being out, so you know we we didn't we tried not to complain about it too much because we, you know, we wanted because we trust the other guys in the locker room. But it can only make any team in this league better to have Bruno back to to full fitness, Howarth back on the bench, the Santos back involved. I mean, the three three of the better players in this league. So uh, fantastic to to get them back.